Hey guys, welcome back. We're Mark and Tanya. We are so excited about today's project. Yep, today we're going to talk about our cedar tongue and groove ceiling and we're going to show you exactly how we installed it, so stay with us. Check out this awesome, beautiful cedar tongue and groove plank we bought this morning at a local lumber yard. Um, this stuff is already in really good shape, but what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with 150 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander. Then we're going to take this out, switch it to 220, so it's got a super smooth finish. Then we'll take a blower and blow <laughs> the dust the heck out of here, and then Tani will take over. So I have a damp cloth. I'll just lightly go over each plank just to remove any loose um, particles. And then I'll do two coats of this polycrylic clear coat on each one. Yeah, so this so. stuff already looks really good, but you put that polycrylic on there and it just evens out the, uh, the surface, gives it a nice little hint of that reddish color that's in there. It's gonna look fantastic. Excited. Let's get to it. Now that Mark has finished sanding each plank and has blown them out, I'm using a damp cloth just to lightly go over each one. Let it dry about 10-15 minutes and I'll come back and then we'll coat them. That whole painstaking process that you just watched was to get three pieces that were straight enough and looked good together enough for us to use as the center. So the awesome thing about using cedar tongue and groove is it looks beautiful. The problem is it's hard to find three straight pieces. So it took us this long to find these. We're gonna cut them, we're not even gonna take it apart. We're gonna cut each end, we're gonna drill the holes for the lights and we're gonna put this up as one unit, right? This, yes. That's better. Yeah and then we'll be able to build the rest of them off from here, so. So why are we using this one? I forgot. So the three pieces are cut. We're using. We're not using this one because it was too blonde. Remember we put no, it next to it. No, but I mean, like but it. before, why did no. we use this not in the very beginning? What was the reason? I don't remember. There was a reason. Because we took the other ones down. <laughs> this has been our discussion for the last <laughs> since we got these boards. Why are we using that one? What's wrong with that one? Oh, that has a knot in it. Oh, that is this. That is this. Ah. Oh. <laughs> So we finally found three pieces for the center. Like we said, we've cut them to length. They're all exactly the same because we cut them. Now we've got, we've got this template to show us where the holes for the lights have to go. And we're just gonna trace it across and then we'll start drilling our holes. Yeah. Hmm. Let's do it.
had to put everything inside because it looked like it was about to rain. And now the sun is out, so we've pulled everything back out, and Mark is ready to drill. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of drill are you using, Mark? Three and one eighths, no, th two and three eighths inch drill, but it actually calls for 60 mils, but this is the closest thing to it. So we've got the holes barked out on our cedar planks, and we're going to go ahead and drill the holes. Hey, if anyone has a solution for how you get these things out of here quick, I'm all leaders. Okay. So now that Mark is done for the day, we are working back on the ceiling. We came out here last night, we took some pieces of the plank, the cedar plank, and we tried to put some together to try and make the center. It's been difficult because either they're wonky or they're not the right length. So this just takes a lot of time. So you have to be patient. Something I don't feel I've been very good at. I want to get this done. <laughs> we did do some holes yesterday for the lights, LED lights. They go down the middle of the van, which is super cool. And then we stopped. And now we're back out. So we spent about two hours last night lining up boards again, right? We think we got it all done. So we, we laid them all out in the garage and now we're going to start putting them up. And we've put the centerpiece up how many times so far? Three. We've put the centerpiece up three times and taken it down. So we're yes. going for, we're going for four as a charm. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. All right, let's do it. We're going to put this up. Yeah. We're going to play some cool music during this so no one can see how incompetent we are. ACDC would be good. Dun, 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 dun. Good. So we did <laughs> actually manage to put two planks up. The middle one went up, then it came down again, and then it went up because we didn't realize the screws were green until we put them in there, and then we realized it. So it took another run to Home Depot. We got more screws. We got these black kind of wood drywall sort of screws coarse thread one and a quarter inch and they're holding these planks up nice we've gone ahead and run a couple of wires through them actually it's so, so far so good so now we're going to put up a couple couple more pieces and start to build out from there run our wiring through and we'd be done for the night What have we been doing so far? So we've got four pieces up and we figured we'd take a break now that we know actually how to do it and show you what we're doing. So we basically, now we're at the point where we're kind of using full length pieces. So we've measured one end to the other and it's 134 inches. So this next piece we've cut to 134 inches. Now because it's tongue and groove, we can kind of smack it into place and it'll hold once it's up there. Then what we do is we have this little form, which I can't find, here it is. We have this little template that we use to measure out where we want the holes to be for the screws. And then we go ahead and we screw it in from here. The ends we screw all the way through because we don't want the end of the seat or the crack. This is really uh, thin stuff. Here we just kind of make a, a mark where we want the holes to be and we drill straight through it. And this seems to be holding it up really good. And later we'll go over these nail heads with some putty 
file them down, put another coat of poly on it. I think it's gonna look awesome. So let's finish. So we just got back from eating dinner and feel a lot better now that we are fueled up. Uh, really excited about doing the ceiling. So I think we're gonna keep going. We went and got a light and here we go. Hey guys, so just giving you a quick update on where we are at. So if you look up, we've got about half the roof done. We've probably got three or four more um, slats to do on this side and a couple to do here, and then we'll run wiring and stuff like that. But you can see here, we've got a bunch of 80-20. So what we did was, uh, rather than order 80-20, which was gonna cost a lot in terms of freight, we found that Unaka Gear is in South Spartanburg, South Carolina. So we drove there yesterday night and we met with them, they are absolutely awesome and they cut a bunch of 80-20 that we're gonna be using for our roof rails. Um, so we've got all that here. Problem is our garage is full of wood from the ceiling. Um, so we're gonna take this stuff, put it in the dining room and then we'll get back to the roof, finish that up and then our next project will be the ceiling. So this is kind of one of those times where you're working on a bunch of things at one time we're kind of bouncing back and forth. So, but we're really glad we got this because now we can get started on this right away. We've got these new power 200, um, 200 watt solar panels. Apparently these are really new on the market so we're really excited to use them. So let's get back to it. We're gonna get rid of these, clean up a little and then we're gonna get back to the roof. To make a piece that fits around the AC unit and the shower we took a spare piece and traced it out we had to go back and cut the notches out several times one for around the shower area and this area over here to fit around the AC unit now that we have a nice template um, we have now traced over a piece that a plank that we're gonna use and Mark is now going to cut it. You can see the red marker lines. That's where this is going to be for the shower, the notch out for the shower. And then down here again is the notch out for the AC unit. We do know that this is kind of a trial and error a little bit. So take off a little bit at a time what you think and then you can always take off more if you need to. In any of these, before we close up the wall, the ceiling, what we do is we take the wires that are hanging loose and we wrap them in insulation. It's not that the wires need to be insulated, it's that we don't want to hear that while we're driving. So keep some insulation off to the side. And now we can be assured that nothing's gonna rattle while we're driving. We stuck the last long piece up here and now we've got this kind of rectangular space between the shower wall and the end where the headliner starts. So we've measured this to be 45 and a half inches. 
We're not exactly sure how many pieces are gonna fit lengthwise. We think three, we think actually somewhere between three and four. So we're gonna start with three, and rather than bang each of them in place at one time, we've already put three of them together in the garage. We're gonna cut them to length, all three at the same time. We're gonna fit them up, and then we'll just screw all these planks in at one time. We think that should work, and that'll give us some space back here for the cabinets. So let's go, let's do it. By the way, these screw heads was not really what we wanted to do. We um, wanted this hidden, and I know usually when you install tongue and groove, you basically, you'd face frame, you'd face nail the first piece, and then after that, you are basically nailing through the tongue and sticking the next piece over the nail so you don't see any of this. I don't think that would hold up in a van environment at all. It's, this, this wood is very um, soft and it's very easy for those nails to pull out. So I don't think it would have worked without the screws. Now we're debating whether or not we're gonna sink these a little deeper and uh, put some uh, wood filler and sand it. We're trying to figure out what that's gonna look like. So I'm gonna use a practice piece inside, but we're also thinking that this might not look so bad once we have the black puck lights in here. So we may leave it. It wasn't our intention to have all these screws in here, but I literally don't think this would have held up uh, with just those finished nails that we were going to use. So, lesson learned. Probably a little easier if you use, um, if you do a white shiplap ceiling, then you can easily just fill these in and paint over them. But we like the texture of the cedar. It's just those nail heads was not what we wanted. But I think we're going to make it work. And that's how we do yeah. it. So one thing to keep in mind when you're putting the ceiling up, it's really easy to get distracted. You want to get it done. It's starting to look nice. You're excited. You don't want to cover up anything that you might have to access later. Like this air conditioner, for example, has four bolts that hold it in. And those four bolts are in these four positions here. Now, if I ever have to remove the air conditioner to change the air filter, to change the foam gasket, something like that, I don't want to have to mess with the roof, so with the ceiling. So what I've done is I've drilled four holes, and now I can basically put a socket wrench through these holes, loosen it, and remove the air conditioner. You also don't want to have any wire splices in the wall. If you have to splice two wires together, make sure it's somewhere you, where you can access it, because the last thing you want to do is have a wire go loose or something go wrong with the AC unit, and you have to take down your beautiful ceiling to access this. We are done putting in the ceiling planks. Super excited. We added two lights, one in the entryway and one over the cooktop. So I'm super excited to see how the rest of it turns out when we add all the LED lights. It's gonna be awesome. you but I am really glad this project is done we worked on this day and night yeah and I don't know about you but I'm starving I can eat yeah yeah we get to this point every night we work a few hours after work and then we realize we have no food we forgot to make dinner so now we've got to go hunt down some <laughs> dinner somewhere before we pass out so thank you again for joining us we are done with the ceiling and next week we are tackling 
the roof. Yep. So last night we went to Inaka Gear, picked up solar panels, picked up 8020, picked up a bunch of brackets, and we are excited to get up there and get rid of the pollen and start putting that roof deck together. So we will see you next week to do that. Thanks for joining us today. Please click the like button if you like this video and please subscribe if you want to follow along on the entire process of building this thing out because there's quite a bit more to do. So thanks again for joining us and we will look forward to seeing you next week up there. Yes. Bye.